Okay, let's get things started. Hello and welcome. It's uh, Julian here. Um, I'm absolutely excited and honoured to be here with you today. Okay, what do we look for in investments? As you know, um, my computer's side doesn't want to play. Uh, balance. We're always looking for balance. And balance is made up of uh, risk management, capital growth, and income. And if you have all of those three um, within your portfolio, you're going to have a great portfolio. So I'm not going to spend too much time because you've seen all this stuff before. And a typical portfolio construction for me, following my wealth wisdom philosophy, is to have a short-term bucket for income, a medium-term bucket for growth, and a long-term bucket for wealth creation. And so the stuff that we do in the short-term bucket of income is maybe either have your own business that actually generates income, or for us, what we're going to be talking about tonight is trading. Okay, so what do you do with the income and the profits that you actually get from trading? I would suggest that you start use that, uh, not only to service your lifestyle needs and all those sorts of things, you know, and all the fun stuff. That's what I get from trading all the holidays overseas regularly. We do more holidays these days than we ever have. Um, because I don't have a seminar schedule, uh, and so it's been fantastic, right? And uh, you know how busy those, that seminar schedule got, especially three years ago or four years ago. So um, medium term bucket, so uh, growth shares. And growth shares, Warren Buffett style, where we buy them and we hang on to them for a minimum of two to five years. That's going amazing for me. Wow. Uh, again, US market, hold lots of the tech stocks and all those guys, and I don't think I've ever, in as long as I can remember being a share market investor, seeing the performance of the stock market as it has produced in the US consistently, putting trading aside just in holding buy and hold shares. It's just been incredible. If you've not been involved, you have missed, not missed, that's not that's, that's unfair because I mean, that would be implying that the opportunity is gone. You would have enjoyed an incredible growth period and we still are enjoying that. We're still hitting all-time highs. You know, all the tech stocks have hit their highs only the last two months and they came off for bad news but it looks like in the last two weeks they're powering up again. And of course we're trading the options over them, trading them both down and then back up again. Volatility's been up which is fantastic for us option sellers and I'll talk about that. Okay, so you take all that option stuff, you buy some shares, I would highly suggest that you look at the US market for accumulating shares. You can do it through the same platform. Um, you don't even have to change your strategy, you're just doing it while you're trading the options, you're buying the stock as well if you wanted to accumulate them for your growth assets, right? And of course, property is a big one. I now have several, uh, Frey and I have accumulated several development projects in different stages. Some have uh, DA approved. Actually, I recognize some of your names. You've already bought into some of those projects. Um, and they're going great, by the way, for those of you who know the Southeast Queensland market, the population in Queensland is growing massively. Um, the military is spending billions of dollars in a tank production or military equipment production just down the road from where one of our projects are in southeast Queensland. You know what that, what that is. I'm not too, here to talk about property. Um, so you know the project. And that is going incredible. It's going to be amazing for us over the next few years and we're going to get the growth. So by the time those options are due in 2021, you're going to make a ton of money. So just you know who you are. Um, if any of you are interested in that stuff, then you know, talk to me after the session or shoot me an email and I'm happy to have that as part of our conversation. So uh, w wealth through property has been incredible. And so what about someone who's been doing all of it? Would you consider that to be well diversified? Absolutely. So I think we've done extremely well in the last uh, five years for all of the reasons of having that portfolio construction in that way across all the asset classes respectfully. And that, of course, has given us both horizontal diversification and vertical diversification within each of those buckets. Yeah, so it's really important to have that balance. So the trinity of wealth in a nutshell, as per, a, a described in my book, Wealth Wisdom, is that step one, you need to trade for cash flow. Okay, trading for cash flow because you need that income to even consider doing the other things. Okay, step two, siphon off as much of that as you can and put it into shares and growth stocks. And if you look at the US market, it's particularly the tech industry, not Tesla, not Tesla, we're not talking about Tesla, we're talking about all the others, you would have done extremely well. And I think there's still a lot of upside there as, as well, just so that you know that, okay? And step three is to take as much of that and turn it into property because real estate is where it's at. As, as you can see, I've got several large uh, property holdings now. Uh, most of those I would not have even had when I last saw you guys. So this is what trading and, and investing in the stock market has permitted me to become, uh, you know, a tycoon in the real estate world, 
which is something that I, I, I wasn't yet up to when you last saw me. Um, but it just proves that the trinity of wealth works so well. Okay. Um, and of course, put that all together and you have financial freedom. And, you know, it, again, I, you know, I, I, I feel blessed to have had the privilege of not having had a business or a job in, in the last three years. And, you know, it's been fantastic. And that's what you call financial freedom. Yeah. So income is the key. And that's what we're going to be focusing on uh, tonight. What I'm going to show you is how to create income trading option spreads, not just options, but option spreads using as little as $100 per trade. So one contract, one option contract in the US market, if your strikes are only a dollar apart between your written leg and your bought leg, that's $100 per trade only. In other words, that's all you need to have in your account to place that trade. Who thinks that is magnificent? Raise your hand if you think you could find $100 put into a trade. Absolutely, of course you can. My kids are doing it, all right? And my kids, the school friends, are doing it. Uh, and these are, you know, teenage boys. I haven't, uh, nothing against girls. I just haven't had any girls show an interest. But when they do, I'm going to love having them in my, in my, uh, in my uh, training for kids. And do you know these kids, they sit at the edge of their seat and they take more notes than I've seen adults take. They, they just hang on to every word. They get excited when I need them to. There is no preconceived ideas. There's no unlearning. There's no, oh, I had a bad experience and all that. And I am just loving showing them this stuff. And they call each other when the market's open before they go to school. The US market's still open. And they're comparing notes and, oh, what should I get in? What did you get in yesterday? Last night, how'd you go? How's your, you know, how's your Apple going? How's your ANF going? Oh, my God, did you see Tesla? Wow, what a dive and all this sort of stuff. And I'm thinking, you're 13. You know, I didn't get into this stuff when I was, in, in 1995, and even then, I didn't know options. It took me three years to get into options. My 13-year-old son and his buddies are talking about this stuff. It is just, it's a different world. And they're sitting on their laptops and iPads, looking at the market at live accounts as they're doing it, which is just sensational. So if they can do it, surely, surely I can help you do it as well, right? So profit, whether the market is rising or falling, we've always had the ability to do that. To do that. But... This is the big one. Make even more money when the market goes sideways. And I don't, looking at your name, I haven't necessarily shown you the sideways market strategies before. Okay? So learn how to do all of this through our instant income online training program. So online training program. So that's a first. That's new. What, you mean you can attend the program and I don't have to leave home, Jules? Correct. So how do I attend? just as you are at the moment, you'll be sitting in the same seat attending, listening to me like this while I deliver the program. That's how it works. Who thinks that sounds awesome? Raise your hand. No travel, no accommodation, no meals, no leaving the kids, no need to ask the boss permission off. Uh, none of that stuff, you just attend online. And it gets recorded as well. So if you miss it, it's recorded. But more on that later. So what is an option? There are two kinds of options. As we know, call options and put options. Again, you've already seen this. We're not going to waste time on that. We're going to get to the gut. But the secret to making money in options is that you don't just buy them. Don't just buy them. I would ask you in a seminar, say after me, don't just buy them. And if you wanted to say that loud right now, that'd be awesome. Okay. What you've got to do is sell them to open. That's the key. So we want to be the writer, okay? So we're not talking about writing covered calls because writing covered calls requires that you own the shares. We do not own the shares. We don't need to own the shares. We're just going to write the option and then we're going to buy another leg for insurance. That'll cap our risk. Why? Because you can be wrong about the direction of the stock and still make money. In fact, you can still make a lot of money. And I'm going to show you plenty of examples of very recent charts and trades that I'm doing, okay? The key is market volatility. We actually use market volatility as our competitive advantage, and I'll explain to you why in a second. We're actually making market volatility the priority before we even go and look at the chart. We are only interested in stocks that have the highest volatility currently, and it's their options that we're going to be selling. Why? Because their options are at a premium at the moment because their volatility is high. So when we sell them to open the trade, we're going to make a lot more money than the average return other options traders are getting. That's the key right there. Market volatility, make it your edge. So that's something completely new. That is not 
how I showed you how to trade options previously. This is the difference and it's made all the difference to me and the people I've shown them so far recently. The other thing is, is put time decay in your favor. This has always been in, the, in favor as writers. This is not new, we still use that. We just use this a bit more clever these days, okay? If you're a writer, if you're actually using volatility in your favor, in other words, you're selling when option prices are inflated, you're gonna make more profit. Your risk is gonna go through the floor and your profit is gonna go through the roof. And the beautiful thing about it, and I'll show you more slides to explain it, is as soon as volatility drops, which could be within a week or two, the option price then drops rapidly. So you can buy it back to close it early. And the difference between selling it when it was overinflated to now being normalized creates your profit even before the share price had to move. That is how I'm trading these days. It is just fantastic. So we're trading option spreads. Let me tell you about spreads. What is a spread? Put up your hand if you traded options, but you haven't traded spreads before. All right, so you all know, oh, okay, one, one person. One person hasn't traded spreads. No problem, okay. Uh, oh, there's a few more putting up their hands. Okay, so, okay, there's, there's, there's quite a few. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I should give you more time to raise your hand next time. For those of you who've not traded spreads, uh, let me let me, uh, let me explain it to you. Okay, so what is a spread? It's used for generating a regular income. This is a substitute to your job, okay? Either an addition to your job or a substitute to your job. This is my job, okay? It has been for years. So greater probability of profit because we are selling time value. Remember, we're selling, we're opening the position as a writer. So we're selling to open the position and we get paid straight away. And we make a profit regardless if the market is going up, down, or sideways. Wait until I show you sideways. You are going to love it, okay? And it's easy to get started with a small trading bank because you don't need to own the shares. And when you combine that with the low brokerage fees like we've never seen before, you can trade much smaller positions, but do many of them. As I said, on any given day, I could have over 130 operant positions open at any given time. And that, a couple of weeks ago, I was up to like 243 or something like that. I counted up each of the individual legs across my portfolio. And these are not buy and hold, these are not long-term positions, these were, these were just options trades set to expire this month. You know what I'm saying? I mean, how significant is that? Imagine being able to work your portfolio that hard to get a result, okay? And you don't have to have an enormous trading bank to do so, just in case you're wondering, okay? So how to do spreads? Spreads are created by simultaneously buying and selling options at different strike prices. And my three favorite spread strategies are the bear call spread, some of you have heard this before uh, from me. The other one is the bull put spread. And the third one is the iron condor. Last time I saw you, I didn't, I wasn't yet trading the iron condor. That's because I wasn't trading the US market. And it's just, it offers me more iron condor opportunities than, than any others. In fact, on any given day in my portfolio, probably I would say 60 to 70, 70% 70 of my positions are in iron condors. Um, and the others are made up of the bear call spreads and the bull put spread. And here's something that I, I may forget to tell you later on. I set the, the entire portfolio up to be market neutral. In other words, when I look at across my entire portfolio, am I directionally more up, am I directionally more sideways or down, and I set it up to be market neutral. Now that's a completely different concept for you as well. We've never covered that either. Um, and that just manages your risk. And so when you get these big moves, it doesn't have the drastic impact in a negative way on your portfolio. In fact, you only have a small portion that you have to turn into straight positions and then pick up, pick it up in a, as a positive. Um, if you've done spreads before, you'll get what I'm saying, okay? If that's new to you, don't worry about it. Let's go through some basics. So what we're saying is volatility is high, options prices are expensive. And when volatility is low, options prices are cheap. Just like a stock's price can go up and down, it's implied volatility, which is the theoretical name for it, can also go up and down. So we, we are opening option spreads positions on those select stocks where volatility is higher than normal to open the trade. So we check the volatilities first, and I'll show you how I do that in a second, and those are the ones that we trade and look at the charts on, okay? So the bear call spread works something like this. It's used when, it's basically, in a nutshell, we use a bear call spread when we believe that the share price is going down, okay? So that's why we're looking for a bearish trading opportunity, and then we're going to use calls, believe it or not, 
to trade a falling opportunity. And that's because we're writing. That's why we're using calls, okay? So we find a highly liquid stock. As I said, I've got about 140 in, in my watch list. US stocks only. I'm not talking Australian. I'm talking pure US. NASDAQ, New York Stock Exchange, et cetera, et cetera, okay? The next thing that's important is the stock needs to be currently at a high volatility ranking, okay? So where do you get that data? I'll show you in a second. If it's not at a high volatility ranking, we don't even consider the trading opportunity. If it is at a high volatility ranking, then we look at our chart. And in this case, we want to see that it's in a downtrend. We want to see a recent pullback to a line of resistance, because that is a, a, a very strategic timing of, of entry. And then what we want to see is a candle reverse, sorry, a bearish candle reversal pattern at that resistance level to time our entry perfectly. And that's when we get the big run. It also permits us to write our call very stri our call strike price very close to that line of resistance with the probability massively in our favor. Let me show you some pictures in a second. But let's talk about volatility first. So this is, this is a, an addition to my strategy that has made all of the difference as it will to you. So we actually, as part of our data feed, we subscribe to the service that actually on, a, on any given day, it tells you what the volatility rating is across the entire US market. So after you've got your list of highly liquid stocks, which is about 140 of them, we then just hit some, a sort button and it tells us in order of volatility, which stocks today is demonstrating the highest volatility and it, and it ranks them in order and it, and it sorts them in order of highest volatility ranking first. And as you go further down the list, they go to low volatility. Now, what I've, I've developed as a strategy is that I noticed that whenever the volatility ranking through this data service is higher than 50, option premiums are a lot more expensive. So we, when we sell, we're getting a higher return. So we're only interested in, in trading those that today have the highest volatility. Does that make sense? And we get that from here. So if you look at your screen, Comcast here has an IV ranking, implied volatility ranking of 77. Is that higher than 50? Absolutely. So this, we would go and look at the chart for that. Okay, Chipotle, it has an IV ranking of 77. Yes, greater than 50. Let's open the chart. Let's see if it's a trading opportunity there. And then kick in all of our other selection criteria. Capital One, the same. But when we get down here, we're looking at COST and the IV ranking of 40, I wouldn't even bother to open its chart. It doesn't matter how good that chart is. If I try to place an option trade on that, I won't get enough premium from the option that I'm selling. So it's not even worth placing the trade. Who thinks that's an amazing tool right there? Raise your hand if you get the power of IV ranking right there. Come on, raise your hand. It'll change your life. Because it means every option trade that we're, we're actually bothering to put time into to even chart and then go and submit an order on, we automatically already know the numbers are going to stack up in the mere fact that it's currently highly ranked. So it's a bit like, um, I, I actually was trying to use an analogy and I can't think of one. So let's move on. You get that part. Okay, so that's part of our, our research right there. So that's the first thing I do. And that data source gets updated uh, daily after the market closes. So you can already start plotting your list of stocks that you're going to chart before the next trading session, which is just phenomenal. So even though the market is open during our sleeping hours, you can do your analysis when the market's closed and then just find an hour while the market's open, either at the open of the market, which is late at night, or first thing in the morning before you go off to work, and then just place your trades then and your procedure, which is part of the intimate income sort of recipe for trading, is to also look at what positions are currently in profit already that you can close and which other ones you might have to manage and make adjustments on. So that's the routine. That's the process right there. Okay. So we're looking at a chart. You have Comcast. We've already seen the IV ranking at a very satisfactory level. So let's look at our chart now and let's, let's decide what we're going to trade. So clearly you can see uh, it's in a nice downtrend and we're looking to do a bear call spread. So I'm just going to show you what a bear call spread is. So bear call spread is when we actually use a pair of different, sorry, pair of call options at different strike prices. And we're actually, um, we're buying a long option and we're selling a short option. So notice the colors, I'll use these colors in the actual chart so you know what I'm doing, okay? So the green ones are the options that we're buying as our insurance. The short option is the one that we're actually making the money on. So we're trading two options at once at different strike prices 
with the same expiry date, and it's what we call a vertical spread. They come in different forms as a vertical spread because they have expiry at the same time, okay? And we sell the spread to open the trade, so we get paid instantly for it. We have instant income when we open that trade, okay? That's how it works. So let's look at the Comcast chart. Let me show you some of the analysis and the type of analysis and the strategy and the methodology I'm using these days. So you can see it's quite a clean chart. It's not overly populated with lots of indicators. I'm still using my tried and, uh, and proven and tested moving averages from all the other seminars you've done with me. That part of it hasn't changed. The only difference now is that we're trading the US market, a lot more liquid, a lot more steady, a uh, lot more options liquidity as well. You know, it, it, there's, there's so many more transactions, which means that your pricing is just so much more efficient, okay? So remember, volatility ranking of 77, that's why we're, all, we're looking at it. We see a clear, strong resistance at the $35 level there. Okay, so that's, that's a clue. We see a strong downtrend. We can see it. You don't need moving averages to tell you that's in a downtrend. But we also notice that the longer-term moving average has now swung, so we can be confident that she's, she's bearish. We see that the moving averages have a huge distance apart. We're still using a short-term moving average and a medium-term moving average in that way. But... That pullback that I was telling you about, it's broken through support and she's now doing a retracement. We love that retracement when it trades back into the zone between the two moving averages. We call that the TAS, the Traders Action Zone. Okay, so write that one down. If you um, have not heard me use that term before, there's some of my new stuff. Okay, so that's the TAS. So when she retraces back into the TAS and it's approaching that um, medium term moving average there, we, we love it when that occurs around resistance because the chances are it's going to bounce off that and then bounce down of either that moving average or the resistance level and then push back on. It's at this point here, as it approaches that resistance level, that we also want to see some bearish candle reversal pattern. And as you can see, there's, there's one there, that, that pattern there, it's bullish, becomes bearish, and then you get three red candles in a row like that. Extremely bearish confirmation. So we would have a lot of confidence in writing a call above that level there, knowing she's in a downtrend, knowing she just wants to go uh, further down, and we've got this resistance level as a, as a protection as well. So this is how we would trade it, okay? We would write a call, a $35 level call there at that $35 strike price, and we would buy a call at a higher strike so that that call is not a naked call, and that would cap our risk, okay? So a new data service, the new platform, gives you all of the pricing. So let me go through it slowly. The average... What I have deemed to work really well in the US market is opening option spreads position to expire between one month and two months. It's just a nice sweet spot for the managing of the trades and all that. By the way, in the, in the US, you have both monthly options and weekly expiring options. And sometimes we can, we can resort to the weeklies if it's at the right time of the month. Um, don't have the time to get into the difference right now, but I will cover it in instant income, okay? So here we've got our pricing. And this is what you would call the broker for to, to, and pay them a fortune for in the old days. And I know you still own a brokerage company. I don't anymore. So now I, I'm very rude about brokerage fees. Okay, I used to love brokerage fees, but now I'm very rude about it. Because, yeah, you get this as, as part of the platform and you don't pay to get this data. Just write that down. It doesn't cost you money to get this data because you're not making a phone call anymore. It is just incredible. So we've got our call side. And this is the options, um, uh, mind blank. Yeah, it's just showing you basically the, each of the options series, and I happen to open the one expiring 29 days from now. There's a, this is our call side. There's a, all our strike prices available. There's a lot more above that and a lot more below that. And this is the put side of the equation. But because we're doing a bear call spread, we're only interested in the call side, which is the left side. And we're interested in the 35 strike. And so we're looking at the bid and the ask. And then, and then we're picking a mid-price. And so that mid-price is there. I'm going to show you how we do that in a second. Also, we're interested in buying the 36 strike call option. And there's our prices. Notice the spread's very tight. It's only three cents there. If this was in Australia, there'd be like 30 cents difference there. Okay? Now, I want, to, I want to teach you something that when I got this, it changed my trading. It is so simple, but I did not actually know this previously. We've always talked about Delta. Remember Delta? It's the rate of change, the, the impact of the share price movement on the option price movement. But there's something else, and I don't know if it's unique to this platform maybe, but the way that we get our, our Delta, see how we, we get, we're thinking about writing the 35 strike. 
Notice the delta is 0.321. That's actually telling us what the probability is of this option being in the money at expiry. Did you know that? Maybe I missed it in my earlier learning. I only learned it like four years ago. So we know that we're writing, so we don't want it to be in the money at expiry. We actually want it to be out of the money. But if you take 0.32 from one being 100%, that means we've got a 68% chance of this option not being in the money, which is what we want, at expiry. So this, this service is telling you that based on all the computations and what the share price is doing in volatility, if we sold this call option at the 35 strike level, there's a 68% chance that it's not going to be breached by expiry. Did you know that? Did anyone else? Raise your hand if you did know that. Actually, the question is, raise your hand if you didn't realize that you can use delta as a probability of profit. Raise your hand if you didn't know that, because I didn't, okay? It is just incredible. So all you've got to do is find the strikes with a probability that makes the most sense for you from a risk reward perspective, which is just incredible. When we start, when I show you the other more complex trades, that to me changed all of my trading and my results and consistency have gone through the roof as a result. And the few people that I've been trading, uh, training only recently, just friends of mine and stuff like that, their results have. So I taught someone called Sheldon. He actually happens to be a, a past student happening. I, I, I came across him recently, okay, because he lived, used to live in my area. And he said to me, what are you doing? I said, I'm trading the US market. He goes, I've always wanted to trade the US market. Can you show me? So I taught him about a month ago. He's traded all of the month of, uh, of April because uh, April expires. What day is it? Thursday? Tonight. Tonight, the April options expire because it's Friday in the US tonight. It happens to be the third Friday of the month, and that's when options expire in the US. He started his trading account just before uh, the month started in April. We, we, I trained him um, at the April, May, or March, at the end of March. In his first month in, he, he has opened 47 option spreads positions. And he's only got a small bank, and just for privacy reasons, I'm not going to reveal how much he's trading with, but it's only a small account, okay? But he's opened 47 options positions. They were all set to expire uh, April, this, in the next, this week, basically, or tomorrow, okay? Two days ago, he said to me, the time value's gone out of them. He's only had three losers and they were at max loss, which is only $100 per trade. He had three trades still running, which he closed last night, all that profit, and the rest have all been profitable. In his first month, 47 trades, three losers, $300 loss only. That's the result. We think that's incredible. Following the system that I've shown him on how to use this delta and the probabilities. So you know where to set the strike so you can be quite conservative. If you then wrap that also outside of support and resistance level, then the chart also gives you further proof. It's almost as if the, 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 the data knows where your strikes should be because of support and resistance level. It is just incredible. So even if you're not sure of that part, you can still sit, choose options that are safe and get the return because we opened the trade with high volatility. Okay. I know I spent a lot of time on that, but I really wanted to share that with you because a lot of you have experience and you've heard a lot of the other stuff I'm going to say, but that has changed everything. The, the, the whole game plan has changed because of those two uh, factors right there. So let's place the trade. We're selling the 35 call for 55 and a half cents, which is the midpoint of those two. I always choose the midpoint. In fact, you just click a button midpoint on the platform and that's the price it would submit that, that strike at. Okay, you, you don't even have to scroll or type or anything. You just hit midpoint and it actually finds it. And then we're going to buy the 36 call and we're going to pay 30 and a half cents for that. And this is our insurance. Now notice I'm choosing the strike of $1 apart. We're writing at 35, we're buying at 36, so our risk is $1. US market is 100 shares per contract. So $1 times 100 shares per contract. For one contract, your risk is only $100. In other words, that's all that the broker requires that you fund into the account. For after we invest that $100, we are now gonna get a credit. And the credit is the difference between what we're selling this option for and what we're buying this option for, okay? And that credit is 25 cents. Again, if we're only selling one contract, 
our income would be 25 cents times 100 shares times one contract is $25. So we've invested into our trading account $100. We're making $25 as a return on that. So, and we get paid that instantly. It is instant income when we open that transaction. That's ours to keep. So our risk in the trade is only $75. Actually, so Sheldon would have lost less than $300. Our risk is only $75, okay? So when you take the $25 that we've earned and we've risked only $75, our return from this trade is 33% of our money. So we get the $25 back at expiry. We also get the $75 back in case you didn't get that at expiry. So we end up with $100 now that was $75 before, just to explain that. And all that has to happen to get that result is that the share price needs to remain below the $35 strike. That's it. And you get paid that. It can go sideways. It can go down from here a lot or a little. It can even go up. As long as it doesn't go above $35, we will get that money. Now, even if it does go above $35, because we've got a credit of 25 cents, our break-even point is at $35.25. So it can attempt to penetrate that strong resistance level there. And even if it does so successfully at expiry, we're still making money right up until $35.25. Who thinks that is just awesome? It can go anywhere as long as it just doesn't go up too far. Raise your hand if you think that is so cool. 33% in 29 days. Now, when the volatility goes out of it, you don't necessarily have to wait for the full 29 days because only a few days into this trade, if suddenly she starts to trade in a very sort of narrow range, Volatility for that particular stock will immediately drop. The options premiums will immediately fall. You can close it out early for maybe half your profit. In fact, 90% of my trades I close out early within a week to two on a 50% of original profit, not 50% return, 50% of the original profit amount target. And I close them out and I take the money and run. I go and find another batch of trades. Okay, and as I said, I'm literally putting around a dozen or more trades on every night. I may see 25 to 30 opportunities, but if I'm already in that trade, I can't re retrade that. Do you get what I'm saying? So once you've populated your portfolio and you, you know, you've filled the whole screen, basically, it takes me three pages to scroll through all my open positions on any given day, by the way. And it's not a brag. It's just that the market's so liquid and fantastic and brokerage fees are so cheap and your investments can be small and, and, and so efficient that you may as well open up a lot of trading and diversify that way. You know, I always talk about horizontal, but also vertical diversification here applies as well. Okay, so you don't put a lot of your eggs in just one trade in case that one goes goes badly, right? And so um, that's just part of our risk management. Okay, so let's move on. So brokerage in that case, if uh, on opening the transaction would be $65 each leg, $1. thirty to open it, and if you're closing it early, it's gonna cost you another $1. thirty. it's $2.60. Incredible. Incredible options, okay? And if, however, you actually let it go to expiry and it was out of the money at expiry, which it has a 70% chance of that being the case, you wouldn't have to pay the closing brokerage fees because these options expire anyway. So you save yourself a whole dollar $1.30. Uh, sorry, I'll be getting a bit cheeky now. So five ways to make a profit out of this one, uh, one position. The share price goes down. The share price goes sideways. The share price rises, but as long as it stays below $35, we'll get 100% of the profit that we're, we're targeting, okay? 100% of our $25. If time value decays or volatility reduces, we can close the trade out early. So there's two different reasons there that you may not have explored previously to make profit. Remember our break evens at $35.25 and our max loss. Okay, so how do we lose on this? Our loss is capped at that strike price, anything above that, this strike price starts working in our favor. So it's only up to $36 that we're losing money at, at $36 is when our loss is at the greatest. The most we can lose is the uh, risk, $100 we put in, less the $25 that we made. So they're great. The biggest loss we can take here, worst case scenario, we smash this through, we read it wrong, whatever, is $75 in the trade. That is not too shabby at all. Raise your hand if you think that's pretty cool. That's one contract. Yep. Raise your hand if you can You can you can handle that. Yep. Unlike Australia, where you needed to have a ten thousand dollar trade to start with, 
because the brokerage was so expensive and there wasn't any other option trading opportunities that entire week. <laughs> so it's the only one you could find and now it goes bad and you've got $10,000 on the line. Okay, very different. Very, very different. It's a different world. So benefits. Spreads offer the highest probability of profit. They're not like other highly leveraged strategies where you can lose more than expected. The risk is capped. And you know what that risk is when you enter the trade. And in fact, your instant income comes off that and makes it even less. And that it cannot get any worse than that. Okay? So with spreads, your risk is capped. So we trade the US market, which is the biggest market of them all. So there's plenty of opportunities. So you, you also can manage your risk by opening more trades rather than putting too many, uh, too large an investment in just one position. A watch list contains, I need to say, 140, uh, 133, um, highly liquid optional stock and ETFs. Did you know you can trade options on ETFs? They are the best. They are the bomb. It's a shame I don't have time to tell you exactly about ETFs and trading options on them. Half my portfolio is options trades on ETFs because they don't have the gyrations and the dividends and the announcements and all that sort of stuff. So they're so consistent and repetitive in their trading actions. And if you look at a chart of an ETF, you'll see exactly what I mean. And they're so true to support and resistance levels and trends. Just incredible. Okay, so we see at least a dozen new trading opportunities each day, and that is on a day with low volatility. 12 new opportunities every day. Lately, it's been about 30 to 35. So literally that data source that I showed you there, and I do the IV ranking, sort by IV ranking, I've got 30 odd stocks with IV rankings higher than, higher than 50, and some of them were higher than 80. Yep, different game. So taking profits. You can exit your position by closing the trade early. Remember that. So remember, we're selling the spread to open the position, and we get paid for it. So we simply buy it back to close the position. As long as we're buying it back for less than we open it, we can close it early and still make a profit. It's the difference between those two amounts that is our profit. And that can come purely just from volatility dropping. So this week, for example, uh, earlier in the week, we had some Trumps being naughty, with making, causing fights with his friends in other countries. And so the market fell quite severely last week, late last week. Volatility went through the roof when that happened. And when I'm talking about the SPY, I use the SPY as the, as the barometer for what's happening in the market. SPY dropped, which is the sum of all the blue chips, and volatility index went through the roof, which tells me option premium is good. So we sold a ton of positions last week. This week, in the last couple of nights, SPY's jumped up. Two nights ago, SPY jumped, and I looked at my chart in the middle of the early in the morning, it been, I don't know, 5 a.m. or something like that, and I actually had it on my iPad. And, Whoa, that's a big green candle on the SPY. Look at the VIX, and the, that chart has just dropped more than I've seen lately which means all the volatility has gone out of the options and I go into my portfolio and a good third of those positions are now coming to profit immediately just because of that one move. Now, admittedly, it was you know, quite late in the month because it was this week, a couple of days ago, but isn't that great? So it's like, you know, I went to bed that night and things were like, you know, good. Wake up in the morning, you know, nice and, nice and early, just watch the market close and I see this and I start running out of time closing positions for profit. And this is how volatility can impact on your portfolio when you use volatility as your edge for trading. So write that down. Volatility is actually our edge for trading these options positions. So we don't have to wait the full option term to take our profit if volatility drops. So two of my favorite other spread strategies is the bull put spread and the iron condor. I need to pick up the timing. I'm getting a bit carried away. I'll be um, explaining a bit more than I would normally because I know you guys know a lot of the stuff already. Okay, so the bull put spread, we're looking at Intel, a great company to trade. It's up there with all the, you know, with the Apples and the Facebooks and the Netflixes and the Googles and all those. Have you, have you, have you looked at charts of those tech stocks? Just incredible. They pretty much look like this and huge uptrends. And if you've been in the tech market, which we have been, even my son has been at the age of 13, he's made a lot of money because this is what they look like. And they've been doing this for four to five years now, by the way, in case you haven't been paying attention to them. But we're looking at Intel. We can see it's a clear uptrend. We wouldn't be doing a bear call spread because she's in an uptrend, okay? Volatility ranking of 18. Is that good? Raise your hand if you think volatility ranking of 80 is good. Or raise your hand even higher, not that my platform lets you, if you think it's amazing. And yes, it is. Anything over 50 is good. 
Anything over 60 is better. Anything over 70 is awesome, okay? Just so that you know. So we know already we can work out the right place to put, set up this as an option, choose the right option strategy and set up the strike correctly. We know we're gonna get a good return because the volatility ranking is through the roof, which means option prices are going to be high, okay? So that's really good news right there. Even before we go shopping, we already know we're gonna get a good return. It's gonna qualify. So let's look at our chart now because we, the next thing is to decide where we put our strike prices because we want to choose the maximum probability of having it be out of the money before expiring. Make sense? That's the logic. So we notice a strong support at the $48 level. Fantastic, that's a clue. We notice it's in a strong uptrend, so we're not looking at calls, we'll be looking at a bull put spread. We, we get that. We also notice that the moving averages have come together and not crossed. And if you remember from my other uh, teachings, that when moving averages uh, converge like that, diverge, you converge and then diverge, separate, and, and don't cross, it's a strong confirmation of the trend in that direction. So we see that clearly. So this thing has a lot of reasons why it wants to keep pushing on, okay? Now remember, we're not buying call options, so we don't really care about that resistance. It has no bearing on what we're doing here, okay? Because you can bang that and just go bang, 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 and then before it breaks through, which is, you know, every indication that it's looking to do that. And when you look at all the other tech stocks and the SPY and all the other uh, barometers that we use to test the, the strength of the market, they're all pushing upwards, okay? So uh, there's a lot of confidence there. And I also look at news articles for what positions are open. I look at major news headlines all through the same platform and you can see that everything is positive. You also get a green screen full of ups for the day. And we also look at the futures uh, trading pre-market and if the futures were green, there's a good chance I could be green today anyway. So these are all the things that we do as part of our checklist process, right? So I've got confidence in this one. Right, so let's write a put option at that 48 strike there because we know we're going to be well clear of it. But that would be a naked put, so we've got to buy one as well at the 47 level. That's our insurance. $1 strike part apart, so we're looking at $100 for this trade if you're trading one contract, okay? So we're selling the put. We would have got the data. I'm just speeding things up. We've got a, the mid price there, 76 and a half cents. We're buying a put again. We're picking the mid price off the platform and we would have chosen the delta and the ones with the right probability of profit. That's the term, P-O-P, probability of profit. So we're all good with that, okay, off the platform. The result is that we're selling a put for that price. We're buying a put for that price. Our credit is there for the difference between what we're selling and buying. That's 20 cents per option contract multiplied by 100 shares per contract. We're getting an instant income of $20, okay? The strikes were $1 apart times 100 shares, $100 invested to open the trade. That's what you would need to fund into your trading account through the platform. However, we're instantly paying $20, so our real risk on this trade, the net risk is only $80, so we're actually making a 25% return for putting that trade on, okay? Done. And all that needs to happen is that this share price either goes up, goes sideways, it can come down as long as it doesn't come all the way down to $48. In fact, it can come down to $48 as long as it doesn't go lower than $48. And as you notice, we've written our put right on, dead smack back on, that very, very strong support level there that was repeatedly a resistance level, okay, and then became sports were already being tested. The chances are she ain't going to go through that. There's a seven, even our Delta says there's a 70% chance that she won't which is perfect for us, okay? Terrific, so that's how we do it. Apple, my son's favorite stock. Uh, for the sake of time, I won't tell you any stories about Apple, otherwise we'll be here for the rest of the night. Volatility around 80, beautiful. Let's hit this one, okay? So now we're looking for our chart. So we've checked the volatility ranking, we know we're gonna get an option, a good options premium, but we have to form an hypothesis about what the stock movement is doing first. We don't just place the trade, we want to know that we're going to place the correct trade with the right structure and the right planning. Again, that's part of our pre-trading procedure. So we notice a strong support around this 165 level here. We can see several touches there. It starts it there, it approached it there, and it was once strong resistance. So it's a beautiful level, right? So anything that we do below this level now is going to be good. Yeah, so you know, chances are, if we uh, price up our written put position, we would find that that actually stacks up quite beautifully. So a strong uptrend is what we notice. We've got our 
longer term moving average, we've got the medium term and the short term doing everything that we need in the order that we want, and we get these series of up candles in a row. Every day has got a new high. It's all uptrending stuff, right? Now, we don't even need that uptrend to continue. We just need this not to suddenly swing completely the other way and go down, right? And so that's the probability. So we write a put at the 165 strike. We buy a put at the 162.50 because of the price of Apple shares. Some of the options series that we want, sometimes they're $2.50 apart, um, which means that our risk is greater. In other words, we couldn't, we could not only invest $100 on this particular option series. We would have to do $250 per contract. Does that make sense? Because of the $2.50 difference. So we're selling the put there. We're buying the put there. The difference between the two is our credit. Creating an income of $60 from a 60 cent credit on one contract. If you did 10 contracts, you would make $600. Get it? If you did 100 contracts, you would make $6,000 from this trade. Your investment is $250. Your net risk is there for $190, and you stand to make a 31.6% return if Apple simply stays where it is, all goes up, all goes sideways, all goes down, but doesn't go down lower than $165, and everything's so bullish. Anyway, what are the chances of that? It's probably going to work out for you, just like Sheldon. 47 trades in his first month, only three losers. You can see why. You have to be enough enough to do any worse than that. The Iron Condor. Starbucks. Heard of them? Apparently, they're all getting trained. <laughs> they're sending the entire workforce uh, on a training program because of some racialism, which is obviously fair enough. We're just sitting your whole entire workforce on the same trading program. Uh, so I wonder who's going to serve them the coffee. You know, bad joke. So, um, Starbucks, the iron condor. Luckily, we're not bullish on this one. So, we're looking at this one, the iron condor. Sorry, I, I have to explain what an iron condor is. We've talked about the bear calls, uh, the bear call spread. We've talked about the bull put spread. The iron condor is actually a combination of both of them. So when would you use an iron condor? When you notice that it's actually trading in a trading range. And so you notice here we've got a support level here that's a solid resistance through there. It's been broken, it's been tested a few times. We've got support, we've got the share price way away from it. We also have the scenario where we've got a very solid resistance level and we've got our moving averages crisscrossing really close together and all that. And we've had a, a reversal candle pattern off that uh, resistance level there anyway. So it's, uh, every indication is that she's going to come down. And well, all we need is to set it up so that we give it plenty of room to come down. And as long as our strike prices give it that room to breathe, we're going to do great. IV ranking of 82, so we know whatever we position we choose here, we can be quite confident that we're going to get a decent premium return. Again, we see a strong support at 55.25. We see a strong resistance at the $60 mark. We see a trading uh, sideways range through this level of strong support and resistance, the chances are she's going to be constrained by those two support and resistance points. So let's do both the bear call spread and a bull put spread. Who said you only have to do one? So we're going to do the calls on the top and we're going to do the puts on the bottom. And we go into our platform and we choose the ones with the delta that stacks the probability of profit massively in our favour. So we're choosing a 0.29 delta, that's around the 0.3, which means there's a 70% probability of this trade not being in the money because there's a, only a 30% chance of it being in the money and we don't want it to be in the money. So we're going to choose that strike, just based purely off the delta and seeing how it lines up with our support and resistance. Then we look down here for the guide on which strike and we're seeing a delta here of 0 uh, sorry, 0 0.338. Again, that's around that 67 uh, percent, close to 70% probability of profit. So we're happy with that. So let's see where the, the 61 call sits on the chart and the 57 put sits on the chart. Let's go and have a look. Calls look good. It's outside of our uh, resistance level. Perfect. So we actually use the option pricing to tell us, based on the delta, which option we should be considering. Because the other thing is, if you choose those deltas, based on those amounts, they're the ones that actually can give you a decent credit as well, just so that you know. So a lot of it's being guided through and, and positioned for you. And then, of course, we need our insurance at a strike price higher to, to cap the risk on that call. And let's look at what we'll get for that, 27% credit based on the mid prices of both those options. 
that delta was suggesting a uh, we're selling a put at this level here still with that what was it a 67 probability uh, uh, a 60 percent probability of not being breached uh, based on that some of you may look at that and think wow that's really aggressive because you're you're way above above that strike there we'll talk about that in a second and then we're buying a put to cap our risk still keeping it only a dollar wide now remember our risk was a hundred dollars per contract on the other position so far so who just who'd like to guess what it's going to be? It's going to be two hundred on this. Raise your hand if you think it's going to be two hundred dollar risk because you're doing two positions. Raise your hand. You guys are smart enough to realize the broker realizes that risk capital. None, nobody put up their hand, by the way. Okay, I don't think you did. Oh, I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't, I won't say your name, John. I won't say your name. Okay. No. The broker still only requires risk capital on one of these positions because it's they only need to keep that money if the trade goes wrong. But it can't go wrong and be up here at the same time as being down here. It can only be up there or only be down here. So they only still require one lot of risk capital even though you're doing two positions. Who thinks that's awesome? Yet... You're earning income on both of them. So you're still getting a 27 cent credit up there, getting a 22 cent credit. You're combining those two together to show you an instant income of $49, yet you only invested the same $100. So your net risk is $51. So it's almost a dollar return for the dollar invested, giving you a 96% return as long as Starbucks stays below $61 and remains above $57. And our deltas are telling us the probability of that being the case is 70%. Now, you're looking at this thinking 96% return. Wow, that is fantastic. But maybe this one is a little bit close for comfort. Well, that one's a little bit close for comfort. So this is what we can do. This is quite aggressive. Who agrees it's quite an aggressive trade? Raise your hand again. It's quite aggressive trade. Doesn't look like you're giving the share price a lot of room for movement. Okay. Would you like to know how I do it? Raise your hand. Like to see how I do it. Okay, let me show you. I'm not that aggressive. I'm way. I'm getting too old for this this sort of trading, right? In my younger days, wow, give me a ton of those. These days, no. I like to be a lot more conservative. If I'm getting twice the amount of credit, why not put my strikes further away and still make an okay return? And that's what I tend to do. Okay, so let's set our strikes further. We're going to go outside of both those resistance levels on the calls, and we're going to put our put. I'm normally comfortable writing on the other side of my support and resistance levels because they act as a certain level of comfort for me. Does that make sense? Raise your hand if you understand that. Okay? And then I'm going to buy my insurance above that and my insurance below it. Who thinks that's so much better? Having to strike that there instead. Now, obviously, your return's going to be less. Okay? And this is a lot more conservative. Still the same IV ranking because it's the same uh, same stock and the options will still be priced accordingly. Still the same expiry as the other example, except we're selling it at a much higher strike on the calls and a much lower strike on the puts. So the premium that we collect up there will be less and down here it, won't, it will be less as well. So this time we're only getting 16 cents up there and we're only getting 13 and a half cents. But when you combine those two together, you're still making a, nine, a 29 and a half cent return on your one dollar of risk okay so it's still a good example and I, I aim to have this instant income as a proportion of risk be greater than 20 percent i've always had that rule you guys know that and with this iron condor it's easy to achieve that even when you're using strikes that are so far and so safe away from the trade and these are the reasons why 70 or so percent of my op open positions are iron condors because it gives me an opportunity to set my strikes so clear of where the share is trading at the moment. And this wasn't ever available in Australia. You'd always have to go close because liquidity was so terrible. Just to get a decent credit, you'd have to be pretty much touching it. So this is so much better. Can you imagine how what a difference it makes when you can put strikes that far away and still get over that 20%? It makes a huge difference. You know what I'm talking about. After you've been through my mentoring program and we, we covered this stuff, on the Australian market and all that, you know, options calculator that we used to do, remember that little spreadsheet? All gone. The platform gives me what the spreadsheet used to do. We don't even use the spreadsheet anymore. Okay, it's telling me the pricing and the returns on the go, on the fly. I'm just clicking the mouse, which is just a I'm not even changing windows too, by the way. It's all in the same interface. 
So he invests we're still only $100. A lot more conservative trade, yet we're still our net risk is only $17.50, which means we still stand to make a return of 41.8%, 42% within 26 days. And all the share price has to do is not go and below that support level, which is a really strong tested support and resistance level there. And all it has to do is not break two, two, not one, but two resistance levels to get up there and we will walk away with the full value of this credit, okay? Now we're talking $100 trade so far because I wanted to encourage anybody and everybody to look at this. But I see your name and I know you're a $10,000 person. So what if you invested $10,000 in this and took 10 times the contracts, okay? That means your income from this extremely conservative trade that has to break all the way up there and if she's got this reversal pattern here, or go all the way down here in, 20, in 26 days, don't forget, it's going to flounder. It's going to do this sort of consolidation stuff midway. It's not just going to go whack, and it's not just going to go like that, because it doesn't do that. Okay, she's floundering. She's floundering anything between these levels here. She has had trouble getting out of it. So you've got, you've got yourself covered. The history is covering you there. We've chosen strikes that with huge probabilities of profit. Okay? So... If you would invest $10,000 of this, and, and even if it took you the 26 days, in other words, about a month, and you walked away with a full 100% of your income of $2,950, let me ask you, how many of these trades would you have to do each month to reach your level of financial freedom that you're striving for? That's fascinating. That's me on Bora Bora, by the way. We went to, last year we was visited Bali at the start of the year, um, Thailand later in the year, Fiji, and this year we've done already, and so what's the month, April, yeah? We've already done Bali and Fiji. I love this stuff. And options, pay for it. So making money is simple. When you trade spread options on the US market, using volatility as your edge. I'll just say that. It's simple. It is actually amazing. And we've got all these probabilities. We've got, we're just trading support and resistance on the iron condor. It actually is simple. All you need to know is the knowledge and have a system. And these pieces that obviously I still have to share with you. How do you get this? I've designed a brand new program called Instant Income. And it is based totally on support. And it's delivered as a live online trading program like I'm training you right now. Okay, you don't have to leave the beautiful city of Townsville or Darwin. I see a few Darwin people or the Gulf Coast of Melbourne. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, you guys come from fire and white indeed. Okay, so who's this program for? Someone who's been struggling to trade successfully. You might have tried it all, day trading, future stocks, forex, or even options. Perhaps you've found trading complicated so far, yet no, you can do better. And you might be someone who is determined to find success, which is why you're, you're here today. Yeah? You have been looking for a proven, successful trading system that generates substantial and consistent income. Raise your hand if any of that is you. Cool. Great. Absolutely. I get it. Okay? So what you're getting when you get involved in instant income, is my uh, millionaire blueprint for trading US options, US option spreads. Simple. In the program, I've delivered it live to Sheldon, and took four days. I've delivered it, I'm, I'm a third of the way delivering it to the kids, I've slowed it down because it's just different things with kids, make it more fun and interactive. So it's a lot of stuff to cover. And I'm saying that to scare you, it's just, it's very comprehensive, it incorporates all of the following, all the technical analysis, and I've given you a snippet of it tonight. But there's a lot more to it. We're trading classic chart patterns. I know a lot of you have previously invested in patterns for profits. So I've taken that to a whole new level in the US market. So we're still doing the same stuff. We're just applying it to a different marketplace. Classic chart patterns, head and shoulders, double tops, triangles, wedges, pennants, all that stuff still applies, and we wait for the breakout, and then we write below where the breakout occurs because that's our new support or resistance level. Make sense? Pretty simple. And we only do that after we found the volatility, okay? So we're trading the reversal patterns on the turn around support and resistance. You know what I'm talking about, around those pullbacks, like we saw some examples there. We cover that in enormous amount of detail. 
to show you how to use the fault and resistance and how to set them up on the chart using those probabilities of profit and all that stuff. I show you how to use that pricing and the deltas and the other, the rest of the Greeks, by the way. Theta and gamma also come into play with this because we're writing. Trend, really important, even more important with the iron condor. You want to find those, find those sideways trends. So yeah, you're looking at a massive triangle. As we can see, it's a symmetrical triangle. It's coming to its apex. That's where I would have written my iron condor around those positions there. So understanding these patterns and recognizing when the trend's going sideways, so you can whack on the pair of calls on the top and the pair of puts on the bottom, put them nice and wide, make the trade really conservative, still get the high return, and have uh, volatility and time value working in favor. That's what we do the most of. Really exciting stuff. So I'm going to cover options again in detail as if you're a newbie. It's, it's yes, you guys that have experience have done my previous courses. Yes. You will know some of this stuff, but if you're not, some, if you're someone who's not previously attended any options trading, I will cover the basics in detail as well. That's why the course is what it is. Okay, I'm going to teach you about how to find the high IV only stocks, high implied volatility ranked stocks, how to sort by implied volatility, and we use this as our source before we go and look at our charts. I'm going to show you. You get that, by the way. You get that. That's included in the package. You get that. So right there, that it's included. I've just got to show you how to use it and set it up. I'm going to show you how to set your risk and reward, your payoff diagrams, your break-even points, and all those sorts of stuff. All of this matters when you're setting your strikes. So we want to. We only want to put on trades that have the high probability of profit being greater than 70%. We only do those trades. Okay, and we can because we can still get great premiums because volatility was high. I have several checklists now. Remember the parents from Trading Wisely and the parents from Patents for Profit and the parents from uh, Cash Flow for Life. This program comes with probably four checklists now, not just the one, and there's a whole bunch of reasons. I've got a pre-market checklist, things that I look for. Finding a trade using the IV ranking and the chart process, there's a methodology to that. Planning a trade through the platform, using the pricing, the options uh, series and the pricing model there, the options pricing model, all within the same platform how we then choose our strikes and all that. Then entering the trade, the actual pressing of the buttons and the process for putting, placing the trade through the platform, everything's done through the platform. You're not touching the phone. Only when your computer stops working that you call support, but you don't call support for trading. And then once in the trade, there's a whole management process, there's a whole checklist for that. I've developed all of this for my own trading. I tested it on Sheldon. I'm testing it on the kids as well. So it's new, but it's not, if you, if you get what I'm saying. So the process of taking profits and locking in gain. So we're very procedure and rules driven because when you've got 150 option positions open for the night, you can't pause to scratch your head. What do I do now? You just dive into the blueprint and you go, okay, open positions. These ones, okay, what am I looking for? I'm looking for that, looking for that. Okay, I'm looking at the declining premiums and all that. I got a you know, 30 cent credit at the start. She's now down to 15 cents. I could close it out early. I'm at a 50% profit. That's fine. I'll close it out. So you're just ticking boxes and the next chart, bang, 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 ticking the boxes. So you never get caught because what I've done is I've designed it so that you don't have to be awake all night with the market open to manage your account. If you dive into the blueprint, you can get up literally at 5 o'clock or 6 a.m. in our daylight saving time and you can still trade within an hour before you go to work when the market's still open if you follow the blueprint. So it minimizes the amount of time if you're scratching your head and not being able to make a decision. Does that make sense? Okay, so how is it delivered? It's actually delivered exactly as I'm delivering now. It's live with me, but we're not face to face. I'm doing it through my computer. If you could see the rig that I've got in front of me, the technology I've got driving this presentation, you, you get what I mean. I can even flash up a whiteboard, by the way. So even though you're over there, I can show a draw on a whiteboard here, and you know how much I love my whiteboard, right? And our foot charts and all that, I can do that here, and I can save it, and I can print it, and I can send it to you as a PDF after the session. I can send it during the session if you needed a copy of it. Okay, amazing stuff. That's what the technology is done. So we neither of us need to travel, and that was really important to me because I love doing events, love helping people, but doing it live started impact on my family life. And at the end of the day, money is less important to me than family and friends, and being a, an amazing husband and an amazing dad and a, and a pillar to everyone else who admires me um, that lives around me. Okay. And I, and I want that for you as well. So it's a two-month program online, and we're delivering a, a, delivering a live module each and every week. 
you will know when the sessions are. It'll be to a set uh, schedule. But if you can't make it on that day, it does get recorded, and, and, and I've got the technology to do that. So as soon as we finish the session, we'll load it up on the website. You can download it and watch it the next day. Okay, and I would encourage you to do it that week before the next module. So it's presented via webinar, not not face to face. I know you, you love me and you wish you could do it face to face. Don't worry, I've got you covered. Each session is recorded, as I mentioned. Each new course module is sent to you via downloadable PDF, so you can put it on your computer, you can print it still if you want to take notes during the session. You'll get that workbook and those PDFs even before the session, and then we'll open it up for questions and answers before we close it down. Okay. I believe that where other trading programs, even mine included, with the live programs, the problem with them is there's so much information to get through in a weekend, and you have to do it in a weekend so people don't have to travel several times. You don't have to send people home to go live and figure it all out. But what I've learned from Sheldon and the kids is it's well after the trading program and people need the most help because they don't yet know what their questions are during the program. It's only when they get home. So being able to logistically deliver this over a few weeks, giving you time to absorb it, come back to me, communicate with me, email me, talk to me over the phone, and all those st that stuff before the next module just means you can absorb it in a lot more tangible fashion. Who would agree with that? Perfect. Okay, and, and that's why I decided to do it this way. So I share all of my current trades for discussion. I'm, I'm active in the market every day, um, and, I, and I plan not to change that. I will never permit seminars again to get in the way of my running my investment portfolio, and I've figured out how to do both through this amazing technology. So why I got into my trades and the setups, like I've shown you some examples right now, I'll actually open that up for discussion and show you why I chose my strike what the pricing is doing, I'll go through all the checklists as I'll show you, what the SPY is doing, what the VIX is doing, what that sector is doing, all that stuff, my pre-market check, the whole lot. So not only will I give it to you in the blueprint, but I'll also then demonstrate how I'm doing it. And you're literally going to be viewing like this as you are on your computer as I open trades, okay? So we'll also review your trades for feedback and guidance, of course, not just about me. I'm just using me as a demonstration. So it's, it's, it's a lot more hands-on and at the coalface and the unfortunate thing is about past seminars, we didn't have that luxury because we couldn't hold seminars when the market was open. Um, because you had to do it on the weekend because that's the only time people could get there. Otherwise, they'd have to take days off work. So logistically, this is just so much better. And we also review your trades for feedback and guidance and advise how to manage your trades. And I share my market outlook and forecasts and all that other uh, indicators and barometers and benchmarks that I use. And there's a whole checklist just around that. And, and you can obviously which is really important, and this is the difference, I will have the time for you to talk to me one-on-one -on -one if you have any personal questions because I'm not governed by getting through all the content in a weekend where I'm so pressed for time and by the end of the day you're exhausted, I'm exhausted. Yes, we have a little chat on the break, but it's not really a detailed conversation because we're both so busy. This delivery mechanism will actually, at the end of the session, you could give me a call and let's talk about what we covered if you missed something, didn't understand it. And that's a luxury I've never been able to have logistically when I've delivered the live sort of trainings. Okay. Included is the real time platform, that exact platform, all those screens, all the data, all the services that you need is in the one package. You don't pay for that stuff. It is included. And I know, don't feel bad that it's now included. We weren't able to previously when you bought Metastock and ShareChart. If I could back then, I would have. Now it just happens to be better and it's included okay it just is that's because i have access to it um at rates that i've never had that, been able to uh, be able to access it to so i'm sorry that previously you and i both have paid <laughs> severely for charts and charting programs and all that these days you don't have to it's simple okay so you get worldwide market access isn't it, isn't it just incredible you get a real-time demo account. So my, my kids are playing a, a trading game through the demo and they're actually competing with each other as part of the course, which I will create for anyone who joins me in the next instant income program as well. And that uh, gives you the ability to hone your skills and build confidence without any risk to your funds. So the, the very same trading platform that you can either log into your account into your paper trading version, you get all the same data, all the same templates, all the same charts and everything. It's just that you can 
set it to start off with 100 grand or 10 grand or whatever you want, right? And I'll show you how to do that. And then you're trading for real. It still gives you all the reports. I can still review those trades for you um, and as if it was real. It's just that you didn't fund it. It's perfect. Nothing's different other than you didn't fund it with the real money. And, and yet all the features are the same. It's brilliant. My son loves it. And I, I kind of uh, dread the day when he wants to really up the ante on funding his account because I don't know who's going to ask for the money. But it, it, he's trading. It's as real in his, in his mind um, and his friends' minds, you know, doing everything because they're just playing it as a game. It's just like the game of Monopoly, except it's trading. Okay? And, you know, it's, it includes my unique trading templates, all pre-configured on your system, whether you're trading for real or not. Um, some of you will go live straight away. I know that. You have the experience. It's, it's different in a lot of ways, but it's not any more complicated than what you've done before. And literally, by the end of that program, some of you midway through the program, you realize you know enough to go live straight away. So it's not like you have to pay per trade. Remember the days when I used to say, look, pay per trade for six months, 12 months? No, I am going to be working towards sending you live by the end of that course because I would have spent enough time with you to do that. So there's no reason why you should get a paper trade. I'd be extremely, I, something would have been seriously, seriously wrong if you can't be live by the end of the eight weeks of the course. Seriously. So I'm going to teach you my complete trading system and how I became a profitable trader. That's exactly what I'm going to show you. And I want your accounts to grow at that rate, as it is doing for the, the select few that have gone through this program, this new program recently. Okay? This training will suit any level of trader whether you're brand new to trading or you've been trading for years, I don't care, I've got a lot to show you. Life-changing content that will transform the way that you trade. The instant income total support package and the emphasis on support, it's more support than you've ever ever had. By the way, Ash and I are talking about getting him back. I know you love Ash and he's been doing other things for a few years. He is desperate to get back involved and he asked me to pass on his, uh, his regards to you because he misses you and he loves you and you know he's great at his job and I think I've got him convinced to come over. So when we get going again, the support will not be from me. It will be from people that you love. I've got an, an amazing new team of people, completely different people, which I uh, can't wait to introduce you to and they have been absolutely fabulous in helping me, you know, I guess uh, re emerge the business and, and, and get back into this game. It's been an, an awesome experience for me so far. And I'm sure you'll enjoy the benefits of that as well. So the value of the package is uh, just over $6,000. But it's going to be real and, and I'm designing it to get results. I want you to get results. I don't want anyone to go home and pay for trade for 12 months and then fall into a black hole again. That will never happen again. I only want you to join this program if you plan to go live and trade for real within the eight weeks of the program. Raise your hand if you are willing to do that. Raise your hand if you're willing to go live and trade for real with real money within the eight weeks of the program. Because if you're not interested in doing that and you just want to play with it, then I'm not your guy. Because I'm here to give you a result. Like with Sheldon. He went live by the end of the course, which was last month. He's been trading live for a month and he's made money. That's what I want for you. I've tested it. It works. I want to do that for you. You are going to be worked to the bone, though, to get that result. It's not going to be easy. You are going to have to either attend the session or watch the session weekly. Your investment in time is going to be a minimum of eight hours a week, and I'm not kidding, but you're only going to do that eight times, okay, and you're going to be live in the U.S. market. I think it's going to be worth it. You are actually going to love it because your new life and your new training journey begins now. Imagine what this opportunity can do for you. Okay? Do you want financial freedom? A better quality of life for you and your family? Freedom from being stuck in your current job or business? Or would you simply like to help others less fortunate than you, as we love doing? A lot of those countries we go to, she's sponsoring the kids and orphans and schools and all those sorts of things. It's half the time we spent our holidays squeezing in a couple of days while on holiday to do that stuff. And, and it's just, there's nothing better. We're so blessed in this country. Or do you just want another way to make money? And that's okay too. Okay. For five days, I would like to invite you 
to grab the opportunity to talk to me about this even before you make a decision because I can only accept people into this program who are prepared to do all the work so they can go live within the program and get a result within the first month of doing the program. So you might want to think about that. I'm giving you five days to think about it and I'm giving you those five days to talk to me about it. Let's have that appointment with me. And if within having that conversation, we decide, yes, you're up for it, got the right attitude, you've got the time, you've got the computer that can handle it, you've got the commitment and the desire, then your investment will only be $3,997, not six grand. Now, I do have an incentive because I, I see you and I know what you've invested in this stuff previously and I know that you're already committed, that's why you're back in your year and I know that as an investment is nothing for you because you've done it before several times, right? I still want to offer you this money back guarantee and I'm more confident in offering this than ever before. If you simply do everything that I tell you in this program, I'll give you all the blueprints, the checklist, the processes, I'll practice it with you, we'll do it together, you're going to watch me trade, you're going to mimic my trades, we're going to descend positions, make adjustments and all that. You're going to get all of that before you leave the course, okay? And then I'm going to send you live. If by following that entire process that you would have practiced with me, being supported by me and tested many times over before I leave you to your own devices, if within 12 months of following that process that we've done together, if you haven't made a double the amount that you invested in the program to get those results, I'm going to give you a full refund. No questions asked. Now you might think it sounds amazing, but you might have a few questions. I'm, I'm recognizing some people that have joined us that I don't recognize your name. You may want to know more about us or just want to understand better about how the program is delivered or how you attend or you know, how you do it, whatever. What I want you to do is reserve an appointment with me. In fact, I want every one of you to reserve an appointment. In fact, I'm going to do this because I, we know each other. I can see I can see who you are. If you don't uh, actually send me an email or tell me right now that you want an appointment, I'm going to call you anyway because I know this is going to be good for you. I know the stuff you've done previously. So expect a call from me and we're going to talk about it anyway. Is that okay? Raise your hand if you're okay if I give you a call to talk about this stuff. Raise your hand. Perfect. I'm going to do it anyway, even if it's just to say good day. All right? So let's discuss if this is the, the, the next best move for you for whatever reason, time, energy, commitment. You know, are you good with computers? Can you sit through and be trained in this, this way? Um, you know, maybe you still love live seminars, okay? And then we'll decide if it's right for you. And if, if that is the case, then we'll get you involved, okay? And you know what the investment is, obviously. For those of you who have done this all before and you love taking action because you know me, you know my staff, and you love it, and you can see this is better than anything else ever before. If you book and pay in full, I'm going to give you the first 10 people. We'll also get, wait for it, the live version of the course also at an instant income four-day live trading boot camp where we hang out together as we always have for four days on the Gold Coast, late July. I'm looking at the dates at the moment. So late July. That program itself is $5,000 when we decide to launch that. Haven't decided that yet, but I want to include that at no extra charge. So you're getting all of the stuff we talked about. You're getting the online package, online training for the eight weeks. You're getting the one-on-one -on -one attention with me. We're playing the trading games. We're doing all of that stuff. You're getting the platform, the whole shebang. But if you were one of the first 10 people to actually register or tell me that you're interested tonight, you're going to get the live version as well. So it's going to give you both so we can hang out together, as you know we love to do, okay? And that value just in that is $5,000. Now, remember, you might be able to do it through super, and it, it, in a lot of cases, it's tax deductible as well. When is it? Home study starts immediately. Sorry to say, we get you going straight away. There's a whole bunch of stuff I need to send you. I need to send you the platform login details and all that sort of thing. Um, uh, the online sessions start uh, mid-May, so in one month's time. We've just got to prepare some of the material. I've got most of the, the course is largely written. Just got to figure out um, some, add some elements to it um, between now and then. 
um, to sharpen up the way that we do it, presenting it this way, not in a classroom or face to face. So there's just a couple of things I want to include in it that way, some nice little bonuses and to make that process easy. The live four day boot camp, if you get that bonus because you jumped in early, um, is three months time, late July. It's the last weekend of July for four days. It'll be the last Saturday, Sunday, Monday and Tuesday of July if you want to book your calendar right now, okay? So limited places. So if you think you'll most likely be joining, please contact us today, either by email. Um, you have the question and answer pane open at the moment. Um, you can see the Q&A button on your screen. Hit that button and just leave me a comment if, you, uh, if you've decided you want to get involved and, and we can talk about it after the session. Um, if you definitely want to have the appointment to discuss it, also put that in there. And if you don't do either of those, I'm going to call you anyway. I don't care. And we're going to talk about it anyway. So just let me know where you're at. Yeah. Um, you don't have to pay today uh, unless you really want that amazing bonus. I am running another webinar on Saturday morning. So please make a decision before Saturday if you want to get that live bonus of the of four days live as well. Um, just putting it out there. In the very least, let me know where you're at. Ask me any questions. We're here to support you. The program is physically and logistically designed to support you as a trader, and I, and I think this is going to be amazing. The strategy works incredibly. It has worked brilliantly for me, better than any other strategy, trading strategy previously. It's working for my children and their friends. It's working for one um, student that I have tested the content on amazingly, and I think it'll work for you if you are prepared to do the work and all those things that we discussed. So on that note, either call me or email me or put a comment in the chat window right now um, or the uh, question, sorry, in the question answer window. Just um, put something in there and uh, it'll put you on the priority list. That's me for tonight. I have had an absolute ball. I can't wait to talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. And on that note, I'd like to wish you all Many happy returns and we'll speak shortly. Thank you and good night.